It's city amenities versus higher taxes, and it has people in Madison divided. News Channel 5's Sarah McCarthy explains how a new metro proposal could mean big changes for the community. It's a really quiet, calm neighborhood. I, there's never any trouble here. Stephen Russell says change in his neighborhood isn't welcome, but a proposal could bring new city services to hundreds of households, but at a cost. At this point, being retired, you know, and living on a fixed income, you know, causes more of a burden, you know, so I'm, I'm against it. A plan to add Madison to Nashville's Urban Services District would bump up property taxes. In exchange, the city promises sidewalks, streetlights, trash removal, and curbside recycling. Russell says none of it is necessary. I don't see any issues. As soon as I heard about it, I was like, oh, great, this is great. Yeah. But just next door, his neighbor disagrees. Alex Pearson moved here two years ago. He says certain characteristics stood out. As soon as I moved here, I noticed that there were no street lamps, very few sidewalks, no public trash pickup. Pearson also says the change will actually save him money. He says the higher tax on his $120,000 home will save him $4 each month once he cancels his trash service. I don't think we should opt out. Um, I think if we opt out, it's going to seriously hold this neighborhood back. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. It's a divide council members are still addressing. Most of Madison is set to receive the additional services, but some eastern rural areas are exempt. I feel like this neighborhood needs those, those services. It needs sidewalks and lights to make it a safer, better place to live. A compromise some say may not be perfect, but is a step forward. In Madison, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Council members will vote on the final plan for the city's urban services district on November 15th.